Hello and welcome to the stream. I'm Tandy. In today's video, we're going to be playing uh, Mono Black Waste Not. This is a deck from one Nick Cowden, who has been on a string of uh, good finishes with the deck with uh, five O's in multiple leagues. And uh, after I saw it like the second or third time, I felt like, well, maybe we should give it a shot. Maybe this deck's pretty good. And so today, I'm going to be taking it through a league to see how it feels. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with the card Waste Knot, it's this two mana enchantment, black and one. Whenever an opponent discards a creature card, create a two two black zombie creature token. Whenever they discard a land, add black black. Whenever an opponent discards a non creature, non land card, draw a card. Now, we have tried this in older formats and standard and extended and modern, whatever. We have tried this card a bunch in various formats, and it didn't quite feel good enough. And I can't really explain what made it not feel good enough other than um, it was just hard to keep cards in your opponent's hand. Now, I haven't played with a card in a long time, so I think maybe things could be a little bit different now. And I'm excited to see what happens um, with this build. Now, this version looks a lot like the old 8-rack decks uh, a la Tom Ross, where the goal essentially is to get your opponent's hand empty so that you can pound them with little micro damage things. Uh, this deck is similar to that. It has, instead of the rack, it's playing Shoulder of the Apocalypse. It seems like we can strip most of our opponent's interaction from them and then play Shield Red, and then that can be our drain mechanic. Um, the Waste Knots, they work with, you know, Thoughtseize, Duress. They work with uh, Lily on the Veil Plus. They even work with Go Blank on the Discard 2, Davriel, Rogue Shadow Mage. But the the really unique part of the deck, I think, is the Guy Reach Sanitariums. Now, normally, cards like Waste Knots stop being valuable once... Uh, your opponent gets empty-handed, but Guy Reach Sanitarium is actually a really cool land that we can use alongside Waste Knot um, to make sure that we can always be triggering it. Even if we're not getting something that's that good, even if we just give them a land, we get to loot, right? And then we get our two mana back that we use to activate the Guy Reach Sanitarium. If they discard a creature, we get a zombie. If they discard a non-creature, we draw a card. So essentially, our goal is to get them empty-handed and then activate Guy Reach Sanitarium with Waste Knot in play or Stick Shield Red and drain them out. Uh, we have a lot of lands that do stuff. Castle Lockthwain, Field of Ruin, Hive of the Eye Tyrant, Mute of Vault, Takanuma. Uh, two Rituals sit at the top end as a sweeper. This is to make sure we don't get swarmed. A lot of spot removal with Shoulder, Zedic, Powered, Kill, Go for the Throat, and Fatal Push. And then lastly, one copy of uh, Turgrid, God of Fright. I've never cast this card. I've never seen it cast. But I remember reading it uh, during the Kaldine preview season, and I remember thinking the front side was pretty good. 5 mana, 4, 5, Menace, whenever your opponent sacrifices a non-token permanent or discards a permanent card, you may put that card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. So if you have Liliana of the Veil in play, you play Turgrid, you can either minus or plus, and if they discard or sack a permanent, you get it. It's a pretty cool card. Backside, Turgrid's Lantern, 4 mana, tap, target player loses 3 life unless they sack a non-land permanent or discard a card, and then you can spend 4 to untap it. So great way to use extra mana later in the game. Uh, sideboard, we have a couple copies of Invoke Despair. This is going to be for your grindier matchups that have Fable the Mirror Breaker and some other things. One Cletus as a, another powerful 4-drop that stifles creature abilities when they die. A couple Extinction Events for similar reasons. The Exile, Murderous Rider as a generic spot removal, good card. A couple Raven Feeblement. This is going to be excellent against Grease Fang and Mono White, as well as Angels. Cut down as a essentially fifth fatal push. Uh, some people play Blood Chief's Thirst, but Cut Down has looked pretty good to me so far. Uh, the Filigree Silex. This is essentially Ratchet Bomb. It's a clean answer to Swarm decks. Uh, a couple copies of Pith and Needle. This is mostly for Planeswalkers like Karn the Great Creator, but it can be useful against some other things as well. And then lastly, three copies of Leyline of the Void. This is going to be excellent against your... Uh, Neoform decks, your Grease Fang decks, anything that uses the Graveyard heavily, Leyline of the Void is going to be a great card and tough to answer. This is Waste Knot. Let's play a league. All right, our opener looks pretty good. We got some removal, and we got Waste Knot and Go Blank. Going to keep and hope that I just draw land naturally somewhere in there. Yeah, me too, Rattlesnake. All right, Mana Confluence is probably the um, Neoform deck. We do have uh, Go for the Throat along with Powered Kill, so we do have some answers for the Angel. 
This could be a tough matchup, but we will hopefully get to see the power of Leyline of the Void. It's always fun to like build a new deck and then just lose to it, you know? Just get absolutely blasted by it, you know? Alright, so we could get turn three comboed because we don't have anything to really stop it. They kept a card on top as well. Wonder if they just go for founding here. Alright, so chapter number. Two mana confluence. So they only have two cards in hand, right? So two mana confluence to me kind of feels like they really need to um draw land, right? Because they can't they can't have land neoform and creature. My guess is they have creature and maybe creature neoform. They took my go for the throat. All right, let's play waste knot. And then we're going to play a longer game if they do get a Traxxon to play this turn. If not, we get to go blank them next turn and maybe snag it all. Can't power the angel specifically. No, sorry. They took my go for the throat. You're right. So if they do get the angel down, we're in trouble. But if they don't have it and they just play a creature here, we have a chance to kill it before things go awry. If we don't get comboed here, they're going to need an interactive spell for the go blank. Okay, so now we can just go blank, and I think we'll be okay. All right, so they found a land. It's Breeding Pool tapped, so we don't got to worry about it. And now we get their hand in Graveyard. No, I forgot to float a mana, dude. No. No. <laughs> I forgot to float a mana, dude. I'm so bad. I didn't even see that they were both Gyre Sanitariums. I thought one of them was a different land. That's just a punt. I need coffee, chat. I need... I honestly just need coffee in my life more. Yeah, that was fucking horrible. This is why people think Waste Not's bad is because people are bad, right? Like me. Well, we're going to lose this game, and it's 100% my fault. My opponent should have one card in hand, no graveyard. Soto, thanks for the follow. Tandy will be at San Diego. No, I'm going to be doing commentary from home. All right, so they have not a lot, honestly. Strategic planning, founding, land, and creature. So I guess they can go land, creature. Okay, let's just concede. Whatever. It's good enough. Just messed up pretty badly. Unfortunate. All right, we definitely want the three ley line of the void. The ritual suits can come out too. Extinction events, okay. Murder striders, okay. Don't need Pith and Needle, don't need Ray, don't need Silex. Kalidus, unnecessary. Invoke is something maybe I want, but it's honestly kind of weak to um, uh, Summer Denial. So I don't want to go too hard on it. I think it's fine. Keep. Put a card on bottom. Uh, we'll put a land back, I guess. Done. And then we'll play the Ley Line. Um, mostly it's just five mana just seems like a ton in the matchup, but maybe, maybe it's worth. I just think hitting the fifth land drop is actually difficult. As someone who hasn't played the deck at all, that's just the way I would look at it in general. Thoughtseize, all right, they'll probably take the go blank this time. But they might take shoulder it if they don't have any answers to it. Anyway, I do think that the Sander format looks pretty fun, and I was considering heavily playing it today on stream, but then I saw this deck and I thought I had to give it a shot, you know? Lightline's going to be tough for them to beat. They have max, like, two trophy and a Besaju. Maybe they have a Terra Sunder or something. And I'm, I'm not even sure they... I guess if they saw Waste Knot, they should bring them in, so... I know Teta Boy was playing Wilt. Bank Buster? Shit. That's not one I've seen yet. It's pretty good against my deck, though. Yeah, me too, Death and stuff. I think it's sweet. I was always a Megrim player when I was a casual. I loved me Megrim plus, like, Talarian wins. That was my shit. I'm actually kind of sad there's not more cards like Talarian wins 
just running around in general. Like black, red, waste knot with collective defiance might be okay, right? Because I can wheel my opponent's hands or I can wheel my own if it's bad. I think I'm going to wait. I don't know how this works together. From a graveyard on the battlefront of your control. So I guess with Leyline, this doesn't work. So maybe I should play it on the four drop side. It also should have just maybe discard it. I don't know. Assassin's Trophy. Great. So now we'll play... I guess we'll just play the top part. I don't think it works that well, but it's huge. They're at 16, so it's a four turn clock. Matchup's good for waste not. Yeah, I probably should have won last game. I just made a huge blunder. Is new Plugonos and Mono Green? I mean, it could be. I don't know if it's better than Old Growth Troll. It might be better than Lift Truck Beast, but I think you'll find that Playing too many triple green cards is going to ruin your Nykthoses early. So you might want to try more um, more cards without triple green pips. The triple green is just rough sometimes, you know. I actually think there's the, uh, the World Tree Enchantment seems maybe better. Or the Great Hinge Enchantment, whatever it's called. Might be better than the new Plukronos, but it's close. I don't know. Anyway, like all your elves become three threes. All your big stuff draws a card. It's good in multiples because it draws and puts counters on your stuff or just draws. But I kind of want to play that card with more things like Love Drug Beast, right? Does that thing say non-token? Or does it put counters on all your tokens? I forgot. All right, I don't think that this is going to work with Tegrid with Leyline, but we are just going to go ahead and plus. They're going to make a thing, and I'm just going to maybe sit on Lily pluses for a minute. I'm just going to click yes every time. Maybe it'll work at some point. At some point, they have to... I guess they don't really have to kill the Leyline of the Void, huh? Kalei, I know, man. I built the deck. I lost to Lily a ton in the first week or whatever. This specific instance, though, with Bankbuster... It's not as hard. Like, they have the pilot, they have the bank buster, they drew three cards. Trust me. Bank buster is a huge deal for this matchup. Like, we're not just winning because we have Lily in play. They have a good counter with bank buster, and we must play around it as best we can. I think Lily might be a good separate card for the mirror. That's not a bad idea at all, actually. <laughs> of course, that reminds me of my friend's commander deck. Man, people are doing some really weird shit in the sideboards of these uh, Neoform decks, man. Bankbuster plus Kaito. I just, I, I don't think I can win this game. Itali's the mono red one? Okay, I don't know. All right, so we'll get two more cards out of their hand. Let's see what they discard. I honestly wish I didn't have Leyline in play. This Sturgard would be much stronger. But... Nah, I think I'm just going to plus to make them discard their last one. I'm going to click yes. I don't think it's going to work, though. It's so annoying. Why would it even trigger? It's a wild sideboard plan. I think Glissa Sunslayer is a great sideboard card for the deck. I think two is good. Bankbuster just seems genius also, though. Because the games change about what they're about, right? Your opponent has to respect the go tall, but now I have to beat go wide while respecting go tall. It's very difficult. Yeah, go ahead, Viper. All right, well, 
I guess this will kill the Nissa or the Lily. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. They could have attacked me instead and then removed three counters from it. Might have been better. <laughs> Another bank buster. I don't I don't see how I, how I can win, honestly. Uh, not on Magic Online Pillage. It says from the graveyard, and it's not going to the graveyard, so I think it's just not working for that reason. All right, let's attack the Kaito and see how they want to block. And we can transform it into what you call it, but this seems really expensive. Oh, uh, this is a bad attack, I guess. Uh, I guess we'll kill the Bank Buster. Yeah, I should have minus the Lily first, huh? Alright, so they're going to draw a card? That's so weird. I still have the Lily tick up. This is just a mistake from them. It's very difficult to beat Glissa without killing it, to be honest. We just have to let the Lily die. Maybe I'll upkeep draw card with castle, but I could also just activate Hive and attack. I don't feel like I'm playing this deck in better than like 50% capacity. I feel like I'm just playing like doo-doo. Good news they can't beat Shouldrats or activating Sanitarium. That's a good idea. Shouldrat seems particularly difficult for them to beat. How's it going, Nick? This is Kaladin's deck, by the way, if anyone's curious. Straight up copy-paste job, no changes. Want to see how it felt? All right, she dead. Just so you know, Chad, if you have a Glissa, attack player. If you don't ever attack the Planeswalker, this can remove three counters from it. Right? Attack me, deal me three, remove the counters. Bias Jagman. Should I do it now or EOT? I kind of want to do it now in case I draw something off of this. But I guess I could go activate and then activate castle. We'll just chill. What's the good with battles to remove counters? Glissa is just great. And with battles, it's going to be even better. Because she can attack player and then remove battle counters, I guess. I don't know. All right, let's hope they just don't draw an answer to Shieldred. So we'll start by activating Castle Lock Twain, and then we'll activate Guy Reach. I probably should have main phased this on my turn. See, like I said, chat, just a big dum dum. Luckily, they are drawing a bunch of cards, so Shieldred's just a nightmare for them. I feel like I'm going to win this game, even though I don't feel like I deserve to. What's up? What's up, baby? Hope you're doing well. Destroy target enchantment. So they get to blow up my ley line now? This card's so good. All right, so I'm going to go draw a card. Should I loot now so that it goes to exile? Or should I do an EOT so that they're dead? I think I'll just wait till the OT. That way I don't I don't want to give them a loot during their draw step or whatever, or during their main phase. So we know they have Gigantha. If they just play Atraxa, they're dead to this plus their draw step, I think. All right, we can just deal two, deal two. Makes me wish we have Death Cloud. I do love me some Death Cloud. Although I think the whole point is that our lands do the things, right? We're able we're able to strip both players down pretty easily with Lillian the Veil and discard and removal. And then we just need our lands to carry. But they're carrying now, right? They're about to let us win easily with Shieldred. With Gyrie Santarium, which is why they're in the deck in the first place. Calden, you'd be so embarrassed for me, man. Game one, I just had two Gyrie Sanitariums and didn't realize that they were both Gyrie Sanitariums and we died. 
I just played it as my third land, second and third land, and didn't flow to mana. I had to go blank. They only had two cards in hand. It was embarrassing. Actually embarrassing. What's up, Paulson? How are you? See what's going on over there. Oh, it is an arena. Nice. Okay, so they have a hand of two creatures and two lands. So I will wait a few turns before playing this Duress, probably. They don't know about the Urborg, so I'll try to play that as my last land if I can help it. Only Urborg missing? That's fine. Urborg's not that good anyway. You like it on arena? Nice, Ivanka. All right, so they drew Island. They did not buy Gigantha. I feel like that's a, maybe a punt. All right, I'm going to dress now, mostly because it's been two draws. I guess we only knew the one. Okay. Maybe that was bad, but we got lucky. I also just kind of want to empty my hand now because I want to get Castle Lockthwain active. So now they can go land, play a creature, leaving a card in the graveyard. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play Extinction Event, but I might go ahead and just kill the uh, six drop, you know? This is Sunslayer, okay. They're playing the Mana Confluence. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Maybe I should go ahead and do it. My name Odd. This card is just going to draw them a bunch of cards, so I just can't really have them do that. If I play Shield Red, it doesn't match up that well against these with the Extinction Event in hand. They have some incentive to wait, too, right? They can play it now, but if we draw a Lily, we, we have a check. Powered Kill, Go for Your Throat has a check for now. How's this matchup against Rakdos? No idea. Just started playing a JQ. But uh, Cowden, the creator's in chat, and he might be able to give you a better idea. Bolt Snap Bolt, thanks for the seven months. It's happy anniversary, babe. What'd you give me? Did you give me $5? Thank you. Thanks for the $5. Struggling with spirits. Interesting. All right. I'm going to just take the four. I guess I'll draw a card and take three damage. Thoughts? Maybe I should have exiled the Neoform to make it harder to cast the Hoots. Drewing, drew too many lands, chat. The Bank Busta. Bank Buster and Glissa are just honestly kind of crazy cyborg cards for this matchup. They're so good against me. Pay too much. It's okay. Anything to do with the one? I will just take the Hoots, probably. Oh, they have another Tassiger. All right, I'm going to go ahead and Extinction Event the uh, Tassiger away. They're not going to play the other Hoots, I don't think. You got me 250 after the Bezos tax? Thanks, buddy. Gambledore, I appreciate you trying to find my uh, good top deck, brother. I guess now Lily's not even that good because they can just crew Bankbuster and sack it. Oh, not anymore. Okay, come on, top deck. Any way to kill the Hooting Mandrels would be nice. Hmm, that's pretty good. It was a very good draw, chat. Draw a card. Love to see it. Yeah, you better tap the Mana Confluence for a black and the Overgrown Tomb. 
Oddly like to build a teamer neoform with the dinosaur and King Kong. Is that a seven drop? I thought that was a six drop, right? You you gotta have things that uh work with delve creatures. Alright, so we actually force a chump block here. If they kill my hive before attacks, okay. To say I could activate castle jumps. No shot they have fatal push in their deck. Are you kidding me? Okay. I thought they had fatal push for a second and I was going to be extremely upset. My deck has so few hits, and they have no way to turn on the revolt, really. So it's kind of like a d immediate draw two. Oh my god. You can fly! Ah, ah, ah! Joey would have been in six months! Tear three out of her mind! Thank you so much, Joey. Love you. All right. Opponent is going crazy with otherworldly gaze, trying to find an answer to Shield Dread. No one can beat Shield Dread, no matter how much you try. It'll drown you. Alright, we have the Mute of Alt to Chub block if we need. Very excited. Yeah, exactly, death and stuff. It's funny, too, because anything that they have to answer Shieldred, they would probably need to draw cards to find. But the they just, like, punish for drawing cards. It's just such an incredible card, Shieldred. Day 30, I'm trying to ban Thoughtseize. I, if, uh, if, I mean, there's been a bunch of decks that I, I would... Oh, my God. Okay, so I might lose. All right, so they revealed no removal spell for Shieldred, so I just attack them with Hive, and then they die to the Shieldred trigger, I think. Shieldred's new Baneslayer Angel. Shieldred is a thousand times better than Baneslayer Angel. Baneslayer Angel never made me feel like I was drowning. Shieldred just puts you in, just puts you in the back, takes you out to dinner. So Kaito founding. Mana Confluence. Strategic Founding. Okay, whatever. Emo song about Shieldred? What do you mean? Base sorry, but if it was a good card. Yes. Yes. See if they have stub. If they do, they need. I know. I think I know all the all the cards in their hand though. I did not need the the go for the throat. This plus this was lethal, but this was just insult to injury or maybe makes it so they can't have fatal push here or something. Opponents being salty. They're not stream sniping. They were just sad about losing to. Uh, Shield red and they were all capsing or whatever. And I said, Come on, man, I built your deck. And he's like, Really? And it's like, Yeah, I'm Tandy. I'm streaming right now. You can come hang out. Share the salt. It's not that bad. If you want, man. So I know I haven't been super consistent lately, but it's always 1 p.m. weekdays, not Wednesday. Because that's Wednesday is usually when I write my article. Although the last two weeks I took Tuesday off too. I'm being lazy. All right, so Graveyard Trespasser, I think. Everything else is kind of whatever. Bone Crusher could have been a better pick, I think. But that way they just Graveyard Trespasser on three and then we Edict because we drew the Swamp. At least I know Sanitarium's legendary. Yeah, I did not say that I was good. Look, it's not that I don't know Sanitarium's legendary. It's that when you're talking to chat, looking at Twitter, whatever right you just 
cards just don't really have the same text on them or whatever when you're paying attention. Is if that makes sense? Like I just didn't even see that it was. I just saw it as land. I didn't even see it as which calls it. I think I'm gonna edict here. It's good. They're gonna stop it with the other bone crusher, but I think that's fine. I could go field of ruin plus fatal push, but I want to save the field of ruins for lands that matter a bit more. I think. It's about the entertainment value for sure, for sure. All right, so let's go. I feel like I should have field of ruin plus uh, fatal pushed, but I want to get this down. It was definitely a punt, though. Thoughtseize. That's brutal. I definitely should have just killed the shield red. I, uh, playing this was just bad. I'm going to activate the mute vault to block. I want to keep the Liliana alive. I thought that they would have the other bone crusher, but they don't. All right. Weird that they would hold on powered kill over stomp, though. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just clicking buttons at random, basically. We'll draw a card with castle. We have one field of rune to check. There, what you calls it? Go for a throat. Um, I think I'm just not gonna tick Lily up. I will activate Sanitarium though. So they just have to straight discard. I'm gonna discard Go Blank. I don't think we'll ever get to a point where we need to use that again. I'm gonna discard Urborg, I think. And then I'm gonna attack with the Hive. The way the tech makes lands work is nice. Yeah, I I love all the different play patterns that I can go for, right? Just based on what my lands work. I kind of wish they would draw a spell, man. Drew another land. Could have Kroxa. It's like pretty rare they have it in game one, though. All right, let's just edict them. I'm going to try to draw land off the Sign of Blood. All right, we'll just play children. That should be game. They obviously drew a bunch of lands, but like I was unable to use my Lily for four turns because they had nothing going on. Takanuma, that's fine. See, exiling all their stuff was great. So now they got back Bone Man. They can kill the Lily, but it doesn't do anything. They're dead to the children attack. I don't mind Kalidas Extinction Event, Invoke, Murder Strider. I think all these are fine. Yo! That is enough. Thanks for 10 months. Sizzle School! I don't love the Goblinks. The Waste Knots are fine. Removal's good. Thoughtseize is okay. I think common wisdom or whatever is just like cut thoughtsies, but I, I just don't think that's true anymore. I don't mind cutting the duresses. I think they just have a ton of creatures and I'm down to just trim. I think I'm going to keep the go blanks as well. We'll bring in two invoke and Kalidus. I trim one go blank for a murder strider. 
And then Ritual versus Extinction Event. I think I'll just swap them. Being able to kill an opposing shoulder, I think, is good. They have a bunch of threes. Maybe that's bad. Maybe I just keep these in. All right, we'll keep this one. <laughs> All right, we'll just let the Colgan's command get us for a little bit of value. At least not versus blood tokens and stuff. Yeah, but we need a uh, little help still. We need uh, to draw them for one. I think I've only drawn waste not one time so far. Um, so I can play Davriel and make them discard. But I think that's bad. I think I'm just gonna murder Strider the Bone Crusher Giant. It's gonna deal me four damage, but it's gonna attack me for four damage anyway. So. Painful. Legit hate that this deck is good. It irritates my soul or the place I think it would be if I had a soul. Erg, what are you talking about? It's one guy. One guy playing a deck that's kind of cool. You know? It's okay. Everything's fine. There, this deck is very similar to Rakdos and what it's trying to do, man. Alright, so they're probably going to go make you discard, bring back Bone Crusher, but maybe they bring back Blood Tithe. And uh, I'll probably just discard Davriel. I think Davriel's kind of mid. Like, it did bring back Blood Tithe Harvester. Okay. Might could see this weekend. Maybe, but like, you know, isn't that just fine? Drew the fourth Black Source. I'm going to go ahead and do it just because it's a huge burst and I don't want it to get hit with a discard spell. They will be able to push my Murder Strider, but I think that's fine. Put it back in the deck. Okay, if it's you and Nick just going back and forth, that's fine. It's just like a cool new deck. I just didn't want to have like a negative attitude towards it or whatever, just because we're we're just hanging out playing, you know. All right, let's go. Thought sees you. See what's up over there. I might ritual sit the bone man. Dreadbore powered. Okay, we'll take the dreadbore. We'll save the PWK for a shield red. So their last card is PWK. They can loot it away or loot some. All right, so Lillian play after getting rid of their Dreadbore. Huge, huge, huge. Do you think this version of Red Black has the power to be a mainstay, or does it feel like more of a flash in the pan? What do you mean, Red Peach? Are you talking about my opponent's Rakdos deck? My opponent's Rakdos deck is like the best deck in the format, to be honest. Waste not? Well, this isn't a red black deck, it's a mono black deck. It's just, sorry, it was just confusing. They pay, if they push my hive, I think that's fine, right? Yeah. Now they have no cards for Fable to discard. That's okay. Well, just because I'm playing it doesn't mean it's not sus. It might still be sus. But like we gotta we gotta try it, you know. I think I'm not gonna activate Lily. And I'm not gonna activate the hive to attack either.
Five mana, Sky Sovereign? Dang. Alright, so we'll kill the Kiki Jiki. The Sky Sovereign's gonna kill the Lily. I thought that they would just. I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I guess I should have plus last turn. I do have the Shoulder of Zedic 4, which is nice. Anything in the graveyard worth killing? We know they have Colgon's Command, so I guess we just exile Boneman. Is Needle an option? I mean, we have two Needle on this sideboard, right? We could bring it in if we really want to. That was maybe the best draw on the deck. Does it cruise the Sky Sovereign as well? All right, well, now I guess we just hope they don't draw anything to crew. Each opponent sacks a non-token creature. There's no way they'd sack Sky Sovereign anyway, I don't think. So we'll just take this and then hope that we draw a Powered Kill or something. No blank with no cards. I think it's more important to attack with Hive and Meta Vault. They've gone through a lot of things that could crew. And honestly, there's just not a lot we can do if they end up being able to crew it, right? Like every creature in their deck crews it except Fable. All right. I don't know if that's correct, though. I think trying to draw an answer to Sky Sovereign is worse than just dealing them five damage. I think Hive just being a two-turn clock, like, they have the top of their deck, they have loot with Fable, and they have loot with Blood Token, so they have, look, like, three looks-ish to find a creature. I just don't think Waste Not randomly hitting something does enough. So, I get to lose Sanitarium, they discard a land, I get two mana. Uh, maybe it is worth Discarded a Fable. Okay, so we were dead. That's nice. Uh, I guess I'll just play another Waste Knot. Maybe I should hold back a Mutal Vault to block Goblin since I'm at... Maybe I attack with Mutal Vault. Is that something I can do? And that way they can't really attack with Goblin. Let's say draw removal. Maybe I just play another Waste Knot. I don't think it really matters that much. This deck also put Underworld Dreams, not to my knowledge, no. Them blocking with the Goblin makes it so that a top deck Fable doesn't get there. They did not discard, so we're dead. Dang. All right, two lander with Waste Knot. I might wait to double Thought Season on three. Let's see, what happens if we, let's see, if we hit non-creature non-land, okay. I think I just chill. Because the Thought Season will just be fine later, no matter what, probably. It took my Waste Knot. All right, so now I'll just double Thought Season, I guess. Take that. We would have had two zombies if they let me have my frickin' Waste Knot. Maybe I should have Thought Seize on the first turn to make sure they don't Thought Seize me. Kroxa, what a fucking top deck, huh? Castle Lockthwing's a good one, too. Maybe I should have played a 2-3 Lifelinker. All right, so they can't bring Crooks back next turn. We'll draw a card with Castle EOT.
Okay, we'll just let this happen, and then we'll draw a card, and then we'll attack with Hive if we draw a land and eat one of them. And then hopefully that keeps them from doing it next turn. All right, we're going to let them croak some me, and then I'll just edict them in response after the trigger comes on. I don't mind taking the three damage. All right, so let's go. Each one sacks a token. Maybe we just draw a card. Just gonna discard the Thoughtseize. I'm hoping they go for it now because they have the Fable creature to block it. They kept the card on top. Okay, interesting. All right, so we're going to take the three damage from it, but we do have the answer, and then we can Lily Edict the Reflection. And we can maybe eat Crux as well from the graveyard. All right, I'm fine with this, and then a plus, get their last card. Good God. Hits keep coming, and they don't stop coming. All right, so we'll make them sack. We'll play Shield Red. Good draw from both sides. I mean, this is just Haymaker after Haymaker from both sides. Yeah, but if their land turned on Den the Bugmare, my, you know, my Lily would be dead. And their hand, their deck is just like all good shit or whatever now, right? So. Discarded Hunter Ridge this time. Okay. They found the land. They cannot Kroxa, but they can Den and kill the Lily. We'll eat... We'll eat the den. Lily will be dead. Then we'll activate Hive and attack with Shouldered Hive and exile Kroxa. Maybe I should block the token so they have a one less blocker next turn. I'm actually fine with that. Let them use their mana inefficiently. Since they're both going at Lily anyway. Well, that was a good draw. Sack a creature and then enchantment. It's like kind of brutal. They can't go backwards. Eaters from both sides. Haymakers from both sides. Over and over and over. GG. No companion. That's good news. That means our opponent might not be able to sweat an attrition battle. We might be playing a mirror. Basic swamp on ones. Interesting. I'll go ahead and thought seize, see what's up over there. All right, they're playing the normalish mono black build. I will take Lily the Veil, I think. Everything else is mid. Please be the mirror. It's mirror, but maybe better for us. Can I please just get a land, man? All right, no third land for them. No third land for us either, really. 
I don't think I want to just go for it. All right, that's fine. If we get Liliana down, it's going to be great. Go blank next turn could be good as well. Does Tegrid work with go blank? I feel like Targrid doesn't really work in the deck that well. Mm. Land for Lily would be clean. Clean, clean, clean. Thank you, thank you. See what we get out of it. Probably just a card draw, I imagine. I think I'm going to discard Sanitarian number two. Since it doesn't help me cast my spells that well. They might have a way to kill it, though. Sometimes they play like one or two field rune in that build. Yeah, I don't really feel like playing the second sanitarium and using the ability of the first sanitarium is that good. But now, with Lily took us from Waste Knot, we're just going to chew up their hand and not be affected in the slightest, so found another land as well, which is good. Thoughtseize, no big deal. Oh, that's funny, Bobby. Now, I'm not, so you might be right, but I don't think that that's true because Turgrid doesn't work with Leyline of the Void either. And I think it's it specifically says that it has to go to the graveyard. All right, so they took my go blank. All right, let's tick up. Now, I think I'm going to just discard a Swamp. All right, we'll just discard Power to Kill. We're gonna probably draw two cards here, but we might get two zombies. All right, I don't really wanna play turret grid. I'm gonna play the lantern because I feel like they're just gonna be able to deal me damage. I mean, I haven't drawn the nuts in any game, I would say, Vitamin, but I'm able to break my opponents down pretty well with my interaction. If they play a land... Okay, so now we just Lily Ultimate, get two of their lands. You don't mind the Rakdos match with Swingy? Yeah, we just played it. It was Mono Haymakers back and forth. It was pretty fun, actually. All right, so let's go... Just go ahead and Ultimate. All right, so we're going to hit half their lands, we're going to duress them, and then we're going to lily them. Um, I guess we just take Thirst now. We just get to chew up their... Waste Knot is so cool because it does shit like this, right? Like, we just get to chew up their whole hand now. And now we even take their Shield Red. We get two things, and then we Lily as their last card. Yeah, it's just so silly. Very cool, very cool. All right, so the mirror match is all about attrition. Um, I don't think they have too many things we want to Fatal Push. They do have quite a few Duress hits, but I might side them out, because I think Thoughtseize might be enough. Waste Knot's good, Sign of Blood, Go Blank, Davriel. Davriel has been the card that's like the worst, in my opinion. It, does, it hasn't felt good against basically any opponent from when I've ever played him. Just the three mana, your opponent discards one card, whatever. The ability that's static is okay, though. Nothing's wrong. Yo, what's up, Pimela? How's it going? All right, so... I think I will leave the Davrils in. I think I'm going to cut Ritual Set, Fatal Push... Some number of duress, something like that. We're going to do this, this. I don't know how much I need Extinction Events. Or Ley Line. I definitely want to cut these, though. Maybe we leave the duresses because they can still Lily. 
So I'm gonna do ritual push and bring in these four. Keep a couple answers for Hive and and uh, Gift of Etherborn, I guess. Is Shrieking Affliction legal in Pioneer? I don't believe so. I feel like that would be in this deck. I know the rack's not. That was in Time Spiral. It was the most recent reprint, I think, for competitive play. We'll keep this Nazis. I want to say Lingering Souls. Well, Davriel is weak because it can get attacked. For three more, for two more mana, you know, you get a discard effect to go with the ability. Do you watch the spoilers? Monogreen getting good card in tribute to the world tree. Yeah, I saw the tribute, Pamela. I've been on Twitter all morning looking at the cards, but I haven't watched like Twitch streams or anything from people. Castle will use field on that later. Maybe next turn, depending, but I'm hoping they just play nothing and I can play Davriel. Ooh, I did see that version. Vitamin, it looked kind of cool. Ooh, what are they going to name? And now I have Davriel. If I get to play Davriel on a free board, that's pretty great, actually. So I take my lilies? That's fine. Chat, never bring in Necromentia against decks that aren't combo. Lily's good in this deck, but... Goddamn, I'm so happy about what just happened. Right, let's get Field of Rune down. We're going to Davriel, we're going to plus, or whatever. Make them discard. Next time we go, waste not, make them discard. Hopefully draw something. Ooh, field rune for your field rune. That's not great. Well, that was a good draw. All right, so if it's a spell, it's a land. Okay, so we use those two mana. And we'll just go ahead and each player sacks a non-token. And now they'll take some damage from the Davriel. They don't have a way to pressure the Davriel, so this is going to hammer them for the next couple turns. Fun is salty. One or fewer. Okay, I'll just make them discard. All right, we'll just uh, activate Castle, I guess, off of that. I know, Dombag. It's kind of wild, dude. All right, I think I'm going to activate Castle. Three damage seems like a lot. Oh, go Blink's great here. Um, Get their last two cards. Get us either mana or some stuff to do. What they discard? Power kill, Fatal Push? Great. All right, we don't have Lily. I think I'm just going to push so we can... I just want to try to empty my hand when I can. All right, let's just play the big side of this.
battle. Backside been two turn clock. Oh, because I can untap it. All right, that's fair. Got to learn how the cards work. We're flooded, so the backside's better. No, you're right, though. The other side would have been much better. I forgot about the untap part. It's such a weird card. All right, watch this, chat. We're going to go Sign of Blood Self in response. Draw a card. So we'll take two from that, two from this. All right, they should be dead to invoke next turn. I don't think they can just deal us six damage anyhow. This stops them, right? Can I get confirmation before I ask? Okay, well. Doesn't matter. All right, sounds pretty good. I might lead with a duress to protect waste knots. We are on the draw. I guess it depends on what they're playing. I also don't have a second black yet. Really like the second album too. Second album, let me check the name of it. Second album was a weekend in the city. Yeah, weekend in the city had a couple of really good ones for me. Hunting for witches, I love the prayer. I love a couple others. Mono white, why? I'm gonna try to steal a powerful two drop like a lily. Luminarch Aspirant? Oh my god, I'm so dead. Sun Gold or Luminarch Aspirant? I guess Sun Gold's not that big of a deal. Aspirant is like a 2-2 two -two that turns into 3-3, three -three, and then Sun Gold is just immediately 3, but... I guess I hope they just don't draw lands. We're gonna have to bring in a lot of removal cells for this matchup and cut things like Duress. No white source, cross fingers chat. Cross fingers chat. All right, GG. All right, well, we're probably dead. We're gonna go blank and hope for the best. We're gonna get a land, so we're gonna get two mana. And the other one, if it's a creature, we have a blocker. God, I'm mad. Can we survive till next turn, chat? All right, so we get a zombie and two mana. If we, let's see, if we block here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we get a one. I guess activate meter vaults. Okay, if they're not activating meter vault, I can maybe block some gold. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting, they didn't. Fire this up. Maybe where they're just playing Brave the Elements for lethal. Okay. Happens. Perfect draw. Can't do anything about it. All right, we get the dresses out for sure. We get the go blanks out for sure. The Davriel out for sure. Is he on? What the fuck is he on? What the fuck is he on? What the fuck is he on? Should I bring these Invoke Despairs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess they're going to have the wedding announcement. Sign of Blood can probably go. Tergrid can probably go. I'm going to trim a Lily. I know it's really good in the deck, but it's honestly just like pretty weak against Mono White. They have a ton of token generators. <laughs> one arm scissors go yeah no shit maybe i don't know man music just hits me something different i don't really want to push that yet because it's not that threatening and a thalia on turn two would be threatening and i can just push that and then edict this
So this is almost certainly just going to go Lanthalia, so we'll just two-mana push it. We'll just let this hit us for one time. Save the other push for something better for later. Now we can get our Lily down in minus. So really big when you're in middle school? Yeah. All right, uh, should I just push this chat? I want to keep my Lily alive. I was trying to play around Brave the Elements, but it feels like they have six, and it also feels like their hand is just all lands. I don't think I can keep this hand, but I'm gonna. I don't think I can mulligan every hand that doesn't have Fatal Push. This one seems okay. Like, we... Like, I don't think Waste Knot's that good in the matchup, but we kind of have to keep it in the deck. We have other things that are worse. It's possible that we should just be cutting Waste Knots, though. It's just such a cool card. I don't really like cutting the marquee cards of decks whenever we play against a matchup where those cards aren't that great, you know? If they play Thalia, though, we just, like, can't interact with it next turn, which sucks. So I'm hoping it's anything else. Yay. It's anything else. Chat, we did it. Chat, we did it. It's anything else. I'm going to save the powered kill for a three drop. All right, we'll just uh, hold up Powered Kill for Lieutenant. We can't use it on the Meta Vault. We'll play Shieldred next turn. I don't really want to Powered Kill this. Yeah, I'm just going to take the one, I think. I want to save the Powered Kill for, like, a Brutakathar or something. Maybe they have Skyclave Apparition. Rydane. I don't really care that much about this card. I don't know. I don't. Maybe I can't just sit and take a bunch of damage. That's a good draw, I guess. I feel like I'm going to get hit with Skyclave Apparition. But then I can maybe power and kill it and get a 2-2 and do a block in a weird spot. They also might not have either of those in their deck, right? Brutal Cathar or Skyclave. Neither are that great against heavy removal strats. Alright, so this means a Ganja. I'll just take it. Waste not a ganjo is kind of cool. All right, so now they can they can't a ganjo me. If yeah, because they don't have a legendary, it takes three. They discard a land, I might power and kill the Thalia. I don't know if I should do this necessarily. Guardian of Faith? Never seen this card in my life, dude. Brutal. Now my Lily's dead. I've seen it before. I had it in a deck the other day, but it's like... I've never seen anybody get me get somebody with it. I guess there's a first time for everything. Okay, well now we're in trouble. How the tides have turned? Maybe we don't attack. Maybe we just go waste not Lily plus sit back. But we didn't block last turn because of the Ganjo. But if I do a pre combat and they discard a Ganjo, it changes the texture of the game a bit. 
All right, Lily down. I'm at 17, going to 19. I'm going to go ahead and play my lands. That way, if I draw Castle, it works well. No attacks. I'm going to sit back. If they have another Ganjo, I'm just going to eat it. Got to block. I know, Don Bag. I, I just... I haven't gotten got by it yet, is all I'm saying. It just sucks to get got by it, because I haven't gotten got by it yet. She'll just know. All right, well, now everything's too big to eat, so everything's going to be trading. They're just going to put a counter on Thalia and attack with Adeline and Thalia. We'll just eat a token, I guess, and take 10. It's kind of brutal. Maybe I should go ahead and trade for Adeline. Very responsible board wipes? Absolutely. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that I haven't gotten got by it in a while. All right, so I guess everything's coming in. So 6, 13, 16, 17, 18. So we go to 1, 7, 13, 16, 17, 18. Do we need Ritual Soot, I think? All right. I don't know what this has to be. I have to hit a non-creature? Okay. And then I would have had to have hit Ritual Sit off of it. Did what you? I've really learned from this league is that the card Waste Not is not that good. But the rest of the black cards, Shield Dread, Liliana of the Veil, they're good. Waste Not seems like a, maybe a cool sideboard card for this type of deck against other like super grindy mid rangey things or whatever. All right, we're going to pop this Elf. ZMT has swapped back to Mono Green from. Their aggressive ways. Third Fader Push, not ideal unless they have double elf here. And then the push or the soot's not gonna be that good later, but maybe it will be. Now I feel like I'm just kind of at the mercy of their draws, right? They go cure or something. Okay, well. Very happy, I guess. No cure. Lily's a great draw. We're going to plus. I'm going to discard Soot. Now they can play Karn and get something. I don't think I'm going to have much use for Fatal Push after this turn. So we're going to go ahead and discard the last one and keep our land, since we'll likely need that. Discarded Mightstone? Nice. I don't think that's a card that should be in people's main decks. I don't think this card's very good. Oh, wow, they drew another Elf. I feel bad for getting rid of the push now. All right, I think minusing to hit their creature is fine here. I'll take three to draw a card off the castle. I guess I probably should have main phase it in case I hit Thoughtseize. All right, here's fourth land for Karn. Old Growth Troll, okay, that's fine too. Shouldred's nice. Shouldred makes it so I don't actually have to do much here. All right, so we'll go Thoughtseize you. We'll take Cavalier, we'll play Shieldred. Make them discard the other one. Upkeep I might castle. I'll probably just take the draw. I will take the storm in the festival out of the grave. Okay. Uh, e. Bleedus. Needle. Murder Strider. Dress is good. Fatal Push and Thoughtsies are good. The two minas are fine. Waste Knot feels like it could be crazy here. Go Blank seems whatever. I think I just have to cut the Waste Knots though. I think that we just can't be cheeky against them. Like, they're just so 
like zone like zoned in, right? Maybe the ritual set's kind of bad. Like their deck, if if we don't hit them with disruption every single turn, they can get out of control. So I, I think that means we just need to cut the waste knots in the turret grid. I think I'm gonna cut the Davriel maybe over the ritual, but Davriel discard's not that bad. It's all about attrition this matchup, honestly. All right, they're on a mold of six. We do have uh, removal for the elf on turn one. But I'm not sure if I want to kill it on one or if I want to discard on one. I guess it depends on what I draw and how they open. Elf. Bolt the bird, chat. Bolt the bird. I do remember that wizard. It was a fun couple of weeks. All right, I'm going to duress them, see if I can take... Oh my god, they have no payoff. <laughs> I'm so screwed, chat. That's so sickening. The BBB C spell isn't good. I don't know what that means. Invoke? I don't think invoke's very good against them, no. Mostly because they have this shit, the sack. Maybe it's worth, uh, I don't know. Card in the hand? All right, I'm going to go blank them. Get the card out of their hand. Get their graveyard. And next turn I can kill the Cavalier and they don't get anything back. All right, so it's a lair attack for a bunch. Black Source. I think they should have, if they tap this and activate Nykthos, it's more damage, right? Maybe not. Maybe it's only three. I will activate Meta Vault and play Removal. We're pretty low on life, so we got to be very careful here. All right, so I'm just going to Fatal Push one of these, I guess. Go to four. All right, same deal. Yeah, hey, I should loot. I'm going to use Gopher Throw instead of Push. And it might bite me later, but... Now we can play Shieldrad. Maybe I should wait. Alright, we'll go blank, and then we'll uh, hold up Fatal Push for the Lair. Last card was a Nyxos. Okay. That's why I didn't want to activate the Sanitarium. That's a good top deck chat. Maybe it'll be bad. Love struck in a car and it's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. My son, weak son. Yeah, you win. You win, you win. Virtual set seems pretty bad. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to bring in the evokes. I think they're a bit better on the play. Liliana the Veil going to be MVP this game, I think. Opponents on six. All right, I might take an elf here. Okay, so they have nothing. 
Take Love Truck Beast. That'll make my Lily a lot worse. So. Play Castle on two, Lily on three. To get discard extra Gyrie's probably. All right, Lily's gonna chew him up. We discarded a guy reach. Discard Cavalier. If they play Cure, that's fine. We'll just keep keep churning that. You think of the Pioneer meta at the moment? I think it's fine. Uh, maybe we got discard Hive actually. I'll hold the push. I kind of want to main phase Sanitarium loot. I need to draw an untapped source for the invoke here. Here comes the Karn. Ah, uh, they're gonna needle my lily. All right, we'll let them do it. Nothing we can do about it. I'll just loot away my push. All right, let's invoke. They'll sack one of their two planeswalkers. We'll draw two. We can loot away this lily later. I'm sure they'll sack Cure, keep Karn, but maybe not. The Pioneer meta is very diverse. All right, they kept Karn. Let's see what they're going to go get with it. Next turn, we can Hive attack the Karn, depending on what they do. Chariot's pretty good. I just draw two. Can't Hive anymore anyway because of the two cats. Powered kill for the Chariot. They can plus on the chariot and attack. That'd be awkward. Attack on with high better. They just double block. It's pretty bad. Or are you saying last turn instead of casting the invoke, I should a uh, hive attack at? Maybe. Maybe that is better, honestly. Yeah, maybe that was better. I was just very excited about playing my thing, you know. And no, I draw this mini Liliana's after that, you know. <sighs> Alright, we need to draw one of our wrath effects. I think did I side out both my rituals? God damn it. Needle, 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 huh? So they got three, four, five, six. They don't play the uh, Godfair statue anymore, not usually. Everyone's coming to me. So they're one mana short of being able to play the Cityscape leveler. Player Saxa Planeswalker. Can't really use Guy Reach anymore. I'll probably just activate Hive to block. Yikes. Where's my Pith and Needle, man? 
Where's my pizza needle? Yeah, dude. Socks would be hot. I don't think I bought it in. All things considered, that could have gone a lot worse. Alright, so we're getting our cityscape leveled next turn, I guess. I don't know. The block. Here comes the cityscape leveler. Let's say non land. Non land. All right, give me a power stone. Take my lily from me. Give me a power stone. I didn't even. I didn't even want it. Ooh, get back Liliana the Veil. Vale. Not a very fun league, honestly, all things considered. Uh, slow opponents, weird matchups, me not playing the deck very well, all led to, honestly, a pretty poor experience. Um, I don't really know what to change about this deck i think that honestly the things about the deck that really showed me that they were good were the things that we knew were good out of black decks thoughts fatal push liliana of the veil shieldred the apocalypse you know these are the cards that are tried and true across a bunch of different archetypes and i don't know that the waste not package with like go blank davriel duress you know, Tardred. They just don't feel like competitive constructed magic cards. Like, I think that it, the games you win with Waste Knot are ones that you should be winning anyway. The Rakdos deck actually shows us how easy it is to win with our lands, right? Whenever the games go long, Den the Bugbear and Hive, and sometimes even Mutavault offer them just like serious longevity. And this deck has very similar. But I think that it has too many cards that just don't do anything, you know? The reason why Fable the Mirror Breaker... Or the reason why Rakdos is so good is because of cards like Fable the Mirror Breaker, right? Like, that red splash makes it so, A, you never flood out, and B, you just get so much out of one card. And this deck just doesn't get to play that. And now, that's not to say that you should be playing Rakdos only or whatever. I just think that mid-range decks that don't play Fable need an extremely good reason to not play them. And um, I don't know that Waste Knot is it, you know? I love I love the card Waste Knot. I think it's really cool. We actually did some really sweet stuff with it. Will I play this deck again? Likely not. But it was pretty fun. The, uh, the sideboard, I don't know if I would change much. I didn't really feel like I had any dead cards, which I guess is good. I also feel like I just had a lot of flexibility in how I built the deck after sideboard, which I liked. You know, the whole Waste Knot package is only like eight cards deep or something. You know, it's literally just Duress, Waste Not, Davriel. Everything else is, like, pretty stock for a black deck. And um, I do like the flexibility that the sideboard offered. I, I was able to feel... I feel like I was able to cut all my bad cards in essentially every matchup. Mana base, probably one too many colorless lands. I might cut the Muta Vault for another Swamp. I feel like I had trouble getting double black on three sometimes for Liliana. And uh, very similar to the Mono White deck in Standard, right? They play, like, eight Field of Ruins and... It just kind of messes with your mana sometimes. Um, anywho, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. I'm Tandy. We'll see you next time.